Salute a tutti. It's another beautiful day in Abruzzo. Oh, it really is. And um, today we're in Capistrano. We're actually standing within what what is one of its symbols, I guess, the castle. One of its Cast biggest symbols, because yeah, it, it can be seen from everywhere, can't it? Yep, Il Castello and uh, Piccolomini. Um, the other symbol being the warrior of Capistrano. Anyway, um, Capistrano is... In the L'Aquila province, it's about 40 kilometers from L'Aquila, the capital of Abruzzo, and it's around 450 to 500 meters about above sea level, something like that. And currently has spread out over the municipality, not just in the town centre itself, um, 830 something inhabitants. And um, most of them very nice. We've met quite a lot of them yeah, <laughs> in the centre yeah, of the really village. Yeah, really lovely and friendly here, isn't yeah. it? Um, yeah, there's, a, there's, there's quite a bit to see, so we'll show you some of the highlights. I'm in sure. fact, let's go. <laughs> Come on. So we've just nipped up the hill um, from Capistrano, which is just over there, and he's sort of a stone's throw away. And we come up to the monastery of St. Francis. Um, this monastery um, was actually built by the famous Franciscan saint, St. John Giovanni. And he was actually born in 1386 in Capistrano. Anyway, there's a chapel here um, called Chapel of uh, St. John. It's rather beautiful. And, to be honest, it's Baroque gone mad. <laughs> I love it. the chance to nip up here um, definitely um, worth having a look at the uh, wonderful cloisters if you get uh, how do you get to see the cloisters you have to ring the bell where's the bell over that way okay let's Front go door. let's go and have a look and ring the bell yeah yeah so um, we rang the bell and um, we're inside yeah. oh, wow. oh. So we've just come into the Castello, Castello um, in uh, Capistrano, it's called um, Piccolo Mini and behind us you can see the um, replica of the Capistrano warrior and uh, we've come in here first because I particularly like military, really old military museums and this has got a room full of weapons. And um, we'll just tell you a bit, this, well, this is the replica of the limestone warrior that was found by a farmer in 1934 um, and it actually dates, the original dates back to the 6th um, century BC. 
um, and you can see the original. We've seen the original we have, and it's huge. in the National no. Archaeological Museum in Chieti. It's very impressive. It's massive. It is, yeah. um, it's basically uh, supposed to be a, a funeral monument. We're now going to go in, and I'm hoping there's some fantastic medieval weapons in here. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. It's a mini camera. So far, no medieval weaponry, which is a little bit disappointing for me. It's all much later. Yeah, I don't think there's any medieval weaponry at all. It was very disappointing. rifle. This one. And there's some quite nice swords in here as well. So we're uh, we're going to go up into the uh, upper parts of the castle now, see what we can see, see a view. Yeah, um, there's a tower over there we're heading off to. That all have a lovely view. It's the one that we can't go up that um, I asked and he said no because it's being restored. That one there. Yeah. Yeah. That will that that will give you amazing views. Yes, yeah, that really Mind will. you, that one there. We're heading to now. Let's go and see there. that one. That can't be so bad of you from there. Let's head there and let's see what the views like. Steep, steep steps. They are. Wow, it's really windy up here. It's great. Wow. Oh, it's a fantastic oh. view. And that, that's the tower that you can see um, from the distance when you're driving past Capistrano, isn't it? That, yeah, With like the very strange all outside, none inside clock. Yeah. The clock, all the workings of it are outside, all on the top there. So maybe I didn't understand correctly. Maybe you just can't go up it anyway. Yeah. It's a fig tree, trying yeah. making its way up. Right. So um, uh, we're in the tower and um, admiring the views all around us. And what I haven't mentioned yet is actually that Capistrano is actually inside the Gran Sasso and Monte della Laga National Park. Um, just check it out behind us. We've just left the castle and we're going exploring down the narrow alleys. And you know what we didn't mention about the castle was that it was um, built in the 13th century um, and then over the centuries it was modified by different families including the Medici but, um, and then it got completed in um, about 1485. So um, this is where we're heading to the casa of um, the... Um, famous, you know, Franciscan saint, Saint Giovanni, um, who was born, Saint Giovanni di Capistrano, who was born in Capistrano. In fact, uh, even at age 70, he was said to have uh, led a crusade um, against the Turks, freeing Belgrade. So, uh, and luckily, yeah. the cats are doing a crusade for us yeah. and oh, showing yeah. us the way. <laughs> what, in case we didn't actually read the in sign? In case we can't this see. This is actually, do you know what, this is well signposted. I'll tell you what, this is probably the best thing I've ever seen signposted in Abruzzo. And can I also say... <laughs> can, another yeah. signpost. Can I also say, this Capistrano is great because um, their Pro Loco um, Society, if, uh, I think it's them that have set up the tourist information office. They actually have a tourist information office. The lady there... Really informative, really helpful, loads of leaflets. Hello, another, another signpost down there. No, it's We're not going to get lost, are we? Very rare. I mean, very rare that you find all that. I mean, very rare that you get lost. It's no. very common you get lost. <laughs> 
me. <laughs> no, I mean just generally. It's, you try to find somewhere in the uh, so it's not easy. No. I'm amazed. These narrow streets, yeah. They get cold. I mean, it's a small one, granted. But even so, it's quite an achievement. Yeah, but if you're carrying the shopping and you've got a small car, you're going to get it there. Yeah, it's <laughs> And you know what? It's got a few scrapes on it. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You get a cheap small car, don't you? Yeah, uh, to do the shopping in. Yeah, so that you can still, you know, to carry all those bags and your water and your wine and your beer and everything. Well, so that's your shopping. You what? bought a wine and beer. Uh, yeah, about that. Yeah, that sounds great, yeah. actually. And some crisps. <laughs> And rustic, mm. isn't it? It's a little bit in it. Popoli. No, no, non siamo italiani. No, è originaria di Germania, ma cresciuta in Inghilterra. Lui è inglese, ma adesso siamo cinque eh, anni a Popoli. Ah. Sì. Allora l'ho capito un po' l'italiano. Un po'? Sì, sì. sì un po'. Perché? Due, due bambini in uh, scuola in uh, ah, Popoli, eh. perfetto l'italiano. Ah, <ride> I bambini imparano subito. Esatto. Sì, eh, sì. Perché poi la scuola, gli amici. Mm. Sì. E questo sì. è San Giovanni da Capestrano. Eh, San Giovanni aveva un padre tedesco. Ah. Eh, però noi non lo sappiamo pronunciare il cognome, però la madre era capestranese, ah. abitava una nobile donna capestranese. Ah, Volete fare un giro okay. per visitarla? Ok, okay. Prego. Grazie. Grazie. Prego. Nice fireplace. Fantastic. It's a sort of an ingle nook, isn't it? Mm. will make for smaller people because they've got two seats but oh, oh I, we have to entwine our legs mm. and uh, luckily neither yeah. so too big oh, no. we can just do it no ah oh, yeah this would be a great aperitivo oh, with, you know, the, yes. with the breeze and oh. you have to be careful because no one's supposed to put anything you'd knock it all over oh we'd have to drink it quick <laughs> <laughs> you know those bags go around your neck for the bottles oh yeah when we do the cantina aperta <laughs> yeah that would have been yeah yeah Ideal. Wow. So this this is where this um, Saint Giovanni de Capestrano um, was born. They had some more houses back then, didn't they? The normal people, or they, she, the lady here, the custodian, she just told us that his um, mother was a uh, noble. Mm. Um, maybe maybe this is just the um, ground floor. Well, it has got upper floors. Yeah, there you go. I found the banyo. It doesn't matter where I go. I always find the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> yeah, well, it's en suite, yeah. at least. Well, I yeah. shouldn't think it smelled very sweet, even if it was en suite. <laughs> <laughs>
the four porters, the um, gates, gateways, entrances that Capistrano has. Obviously, it's a fortified medieval village. And somewhere up on the hill behind us over there um, is the monastery of St. Francis. And we've just learnt that the, um, from underneath the castello all the way up there um, to underneath the monastery runs a very um, long, a very long underground, passage. underground passageway. Well, obviously you can't use it nowadays, but back in the day that must have been uh, quite exciting. Obviously it was used, you know, to evacuate um, villagers. So, um, sometimes when we're making our uh, YouTube videos for Inspirona Brutso or anything, um, we um, get occasionally it rains in Italy like anywhere else. Yeah, and, but uh, it's only a little drop, but it's a good excuse to come. What, one little have drop, one little raindrop hit me and I went, it's lunchtime. Quick, let's yeah. go and have some lunch. One little raindrop, my hair could go frizzy. You yeah. don't want that happening. No. And I'm carrying my camera, you know, in the case it's some waterproof, so we thought we'd better stop. Any old excuse. So we've come into Il Castello, which is right next to the Castello, and we're just going to have a light Pick a little brown Yeah. So um, lunch has arrived, and Katia looks very happy. Let's have a look at what she's got. What have you got, Katia? I've got um, a trout um, with like orange, but I, it's orange. But I think the sauce is with orange as well. And look what's yeah. coming now. Yeah. Grazie. Oh, I'm very happy. Looks looks delicious. <laughs> Andrew, what have you got? I've got pasta with fungi and tartufo, which I'm also very happy about. Ah. Bon appetito. Uh, we're going to eat now. Good? It's delicious. It's delicious. Can you oh, give me a taste? No. Oh, just Get a little off. bit. No. Just give me a little taste. Oh, it's so the tiniest little taste, isn't it? Mm. Wow. Isn't that, that amazing? That is really good. Do you know what? It, it, <laughs> I've never had to no. with like an orange sauce, but wow. I'm actually going to be having that again, that's for sure. Mm. That is really good. Delicious. This tiny little stop for lunch to, to as usual, in a bit so quiet and big lunch, which is very good, as always. And very filling, as always. And Katia has, hasn't stopped yet, and she's very happy. And look at her face. I mean, if that's not a happy face, then it is. You want to see why? Because. Well, look. <laughs> yeah. That's that's why. Yeah, but I'm not happy because um, the the lady here, she said, um, I've left you two um, spoons um, to share. I said, No, just one, thank you. Take and the I other said, one away. No, and I grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that's delicious. <laughs> Wonderful. So, um, just outside of um, Capistrano, just a few minutes' drive, a little walk through the woods, and uh, right next to the River Torino is the ancient Abbazia San Pietro ad Oratorium. It dates back to pagan times. Um, the first construction was in the 700s, um, and uh, then it was rebuilt in the 11th and 12th century. And wow, is it stunning inside. It's some very nice ornate stonework. Yeah, uh, out, outside um, the exterior you can find a lot of interesting yeah, uh, things, so, can't you? Yeah. So on the um, exterior of the wall of the entrance of this church is a Sator Square, which is a Latin palindrome. Sator. 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 A very nice um, uh, main entrance to the, yeah. to the 
Abbot Seam. This is an Abbot Seam, isn't it? it yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. They call it Chiesa, but I think it's also an Abbot Seam. No, Chiesa Abbot Seam. 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 Abbot Seam.
is the castle facing very predominantly out on the, uh, over the This is a good restaurant, we can uh, vouch for that. Um, and, um, and here's the whole square. It's big. Huge. Yeah, it is, it is a big square yeah. actually. There's a gelateria just over there. See, that's the gelateria there. Um, and then there's a, uh, a bar restaurant over there, a pizzeria rather over there. Um, that's where the tourist information yes. office is. Yeah. And I think it's a pair of TV time myself. everyone winds down and it's very peaceful and tranquil and it's not too hot but also because it's a pair of TV time <laughs> yes. which is very important yeah and uh, oh and she's um, brought some snacks this is really nice um, bar here really, so. anyway I'm really glad we came back I yeah. really enjoyed it and uh, just to have a storm yeah absolutely